What's going on, y'all? We are in the truck without the RV, and we are driving to Buffalo, New York, or really Niagara Falls. Yes. We have been staying near Rochester, New York, kind of on the eastern side of Rochester. And there's a number of different attractions in the area that we'd like to see, but all of them seem to be 60 plus miles away. This one is actually over a hundred mile drive, one way for us to go check this out. But it's one of those attractions that it's like, well, we're in this area, it's kind of a big deal. We probably should go check it out. But there's decisions to be made as far as things like, how far do I need to drive? How how far am I willing to drive without the RV to which we have to then return back to the RV that night? Should we take the RV with us and find a, a spot to park it for a few days and then return back to where we've paid for a monthly rent, which that's an extra added cost. So for us just to drive there and back, our fuel economy is a lot cheaper because we probably get twice as many miles per gallon of diesel as opposed to if we were towing, plus the extra wear and tear on the RV, plus the setup and tear down and all that extra added time. So there's some pros and cons to that. But I think it's worth it for such a major attraction. You, you feel it's worth it for a 100 mile drive? I feel like it's a bucket list item, so it's worth traveling to. So. Yeah, I guess it's a, a matter of, you know, how important do you feel these things are? You know, earlier this week, we went to Watkins Glen State Park. That was a 65-mile drive one way, but that was a major bucket list item for me, and so I felt it was, it was worth that drive. We've been in other areas where there's been stuff, and we've considered it, but we're like, eh, I don't know if it's really that worth it. I guess at Niagara Falls, is that worth it to us? It is. It is. That's a big deal. And then there's two bucket list items. We discussed also eating buffalo wings. In, in Buffalo. Yes, because <laughs> Buffalo, New York is actually where buffalo wings originated. That's why they're called buffalo wings, not... Yeah, sometimes these things just pop up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that wasn't really on our bucket list, but we are kind of making it on the, on the fly. So, but it sounds like something that we would enjoy. Similar to when we were in Massachusetts and we were just considering driving through Rhode Island to check it off the, the list and say we'd been there. And when I told Tanya, I was like, you know, Plymouth Rock in, in a, what was it, uh, Mayflower 2, which was like a model or a remake of the Mayflower, we're like 11 miles away. Yes. And you were like, that's a bucket list item that's not on our bucket list that should be. <laughs> so we went there instead and, and checked yes. off that item. It's almost like we're building our bucket list. As we go. Yes. Yeah, that's fun. So yeah. what? one of the things I wanted to talk to you as well is how we plot our route. I'm a huge fan of Google Maps. I use Google Maps for a lot of things. I love the satellite view. I love scoping out what's in that area. So we knew that Niagara Falls was there, but then we're like, well, what is really there? And so from there, I like to use Google Maps to just kind of look at the parking lots, look at the attractions, the walking distance, to see if there's any major stairs or uh, any kind of big obstacles for us as we're going to visit, what kind of restaurants will be in the area, gift shops. I like to use all of that stuff. And I like to, remember I was saying on Google Maps, there's the little yellow guy in the corner. Yes, which I had no idea. I click on him <laughs> and he, he dangles. It's so funny, he's dangling and then you drop him somewhere and you see what photographs, or like the 360 imagery that Google Maps has, the street view they call it, yeah. to see what's around there to learn about where you're going before you get there. So Google Maps is a, a huge part of how we find this stuff may not necessarily be the best way. There might have been better ways for us to learn about this stuff. I did afterwards put on some YouTube videos about what to see and do in Niagara Falls mm -hmm. and still learn some more information on top of that. Yeah. And we like using Google, especially like Google Photos of places. Uh, we'll participate in that as well. If something doesn't have any pictures, we'll go in and take pictures of it. 
yep. posted on Google Photos to help other people. Uh, yep, I've done that a number of times. There was a movie theater in Abilene, Texas that I wasn't sure, do they have like food or they just have popcorn? There wasn't any photos on Google Maps of this, this movie theater. So I went in there and I made sure to capture pictures of their concession stand and their menus and to help other people have a better idea of what to expect when they went to that movie theater. Exactly. We do that for, uh, I know some people, they kind of mock it, you know, the people that take pictures of their food at a restaurant, mm -hmm. but it's helpful. It is, it really is. Because you, now we can go on Google Maps, click on a restaurant, find the other photos that other people have posted there, and now we have a better idea of what to expect when we arrive. Yes. And that's been a huge core of what our YouTube channel is about, period. We like to help people know what to expect when they arrive somewhere. Yeah. So we are definitely, we enjoy Google Maps and it helps us get out here and, and check this stuff out. So we're just making our 100 mile drive this way. I would say for me, the biggest concern I have is not the 100 miles driving to Niagara Falls. I'm more worried about the 100 miles back. Yes. After spending time there and having fun and probably being worn out and exhausted and yes. maybe eating. <laughs> yeah, eating <laughs> buffalo wings and be tired. I'm I'm worried about you. I know myself I wouldn't I wouldn't make it. <laughs> so that's probably gonna be the, the tougher part. That's what I'm kind of dreading about this day is the heading back. Yes. Now I'm not planning to show Niagara Falls in this video. I just wanted to talk real quick about deciding where to go deciding what's acceptable as far as distances when you're driving. I would have normally have said 100 miles is too far. I wouldn't want to go that far. But I guess my mind was more at ease because I'm like, it's Niagara Falls. It's kind of a big deal, Holyfield. It is. <laughs> so we're, we're willing to, to make that drive. We, we brought the seat cushions today. And we have yeah. seat cushions we, we put in the truck on long drive days. Yes. Helps it be more comfortable. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm trying to decide, did the speed limit just drop way down? We're getting close to Buffalo right now and I'm getting near my turn and everybody went from 65 down to 49 miles an hour. Today is July 27th, 2023. It's my, birthday. my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, Pop. It's 81 years old. And tomorrow is our anniversary. Yes, how, how long have we been married? 23 years. Yep. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> Alright, so I'll stop the video for now and we'll pick up maybe uh, talk about some more on the way back. It'll be interesting to see if you can even see me if it's dark out on the way back. <laughs> Alright, we uh, completed our mission. We got to see Niagara Falls and we had some chicken wings and buffalo and now we're headed back home. The fact that we left out of Buffalo, we didn't have a full 100 miles to go. It was only about 90 miles back. I was pleasantly surprised by traffic. Mm -hmm. It wasn't bad. Yeah, leaving downtown Buffalo at 6 o'clock, I thought we were going to be in for some terrible traffic, but it was actually pretty easy getting out of there. The only uh, downside, I guess, to the roads is <laughs> some of these terrible New York roads. <laughs> but I think that you know, we could have pushed ourselves to do more and probably wore ourselves out, but I think it was wise that we didn't. I mean, we're actually heading back home in a decent time. Just the fact that we did what we did at Niagara Falls, check that major box, and I think sometimes we, us or even you, may we push ourselves too far. We think, I'm going somewhere, I'm driving all these miles, I have to do all the things, and we just run ourselves ragged and then just kind of ruins the day. Yes. Now we're actually heading home early enough. It's looking like we'll make it back about 7.30 and you're like, hey, we have time to go to Walmart and get yes. some groceries done. Yes. Since we're out. Yeah, since we're out. Since tomorrow's our anniversary and we'd like to... Uh, Not go to Walmart. Yeah. Go enjoy the day rather than go shopping. Yes. But I'd say, you know, we, we accomplished the mission. I don't know that I would want to go more than 100 miles in a day yeah. just for the day. Unless I had to. It just it depends on what it is, of course. Yeah. But this, I feel like we did this smart, so. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, if, if we had decided to take the RV, there were spots. We saw a KOA campground and some others that were within seven miles from Niagara Falls. Another option would be to get a hotel room. Yeah. The downside, though, is the dog. We would have to accommodate the dog. Yes. Unless we had somebody that would we'd be willing to let go into our RV and walk the dog. But with us traveling around, it's hard to pick up that trust yeah. of someone we don't know unless we were traveling with somebody we knew. Yes. Like if we had been uh, traveling with Bill and Natasha, it would have been one thing. But yes. in a new area where we don't really know anybody at the park, I wouldn't want to ask them to go walk our dog two or three times a day. Yes. But yeah, either way, those those were options, but I think that the way that we did it is probably the cheapest. You know, we, we didn't pay extra for towing the RV. We didn't pay for an RV spot over there. Obviously, we had to pay diesel to drive there and back, but when we're not towing, it's not as much money. Uh, we did eat out, but I mean, it was kind of a celebratory, celebrating our anniversary that we're eating out and taking in the moment of the places we are, like being in Buffalo, New York. Yes. So, yeah, no, I, I think you're right. I think we did it right. Obviously, a hotel would have been pricey, too. It would have, yes. But I think that... Uh, this is just one way to do it. Yep. All right. Well, we thank you so much for watching our videos, and we want you to remember that life happens. Don't let it stop you. Stay fresh, cheese bags.